Chairman, very much. And, you know, a lot of this just fits into the frame of uh, just energy efficiency. My mother would always say, Eddie, your father and I, we're going to donate your brain to Harvard Medical School as a completely unused human organ. And she would say, you have to learn how to work smarter and not harder. You know, I'd be 10, 11, 12. She'd just keep saying the same thing. So, you know, when I authored the appliance efficiency laws in 1987, for example, air conditioning is 80% of peak demand in Texas in the summer. Well, what if they doubled the efficiency? You know, it would be half the electricity that people would have to purchase. And they fought it, but once the law passed, they did it. And the same thing true for refrigerators, for stoves. They figured it out. Same thing was true for automobiles. I used to make the amendment every year on the House floor to increase fuel economy standards. And the auto industry said, you just don't know how hard it is. And so we finally, in 2007, we passed you know, my bill. And then Elon Musk just went to the markets and said, hey, I'll be able to meet the standard. Give me money for all electric vehicles. So that's what we're talking about here. We're just talking about, in my mother's words, working smarter and not harder and getting the same result. So the Bitcoin network Chairman, uses- wait, Could I just say, yeah. I think our parents were talking with each other, even back then. I, you know, um, a correct assessment of our untapped human potential. I agree with you. And, uh, and I'm sure that it's a miracle that we're here from their perspective, given our attitudes at age 10. Um, so the Bitcoin network uses a mechanism called proof of work to issue new Bitcoins to miners. The problem is in the name itself. You need to prove you've done a lot of work and used a lot of energy in order to get awarded any Bitcoin. We can't be fooled into thinking that this amount of energy must be used in order to participate in crypto asset markets. Other assets like Ethereum use methods to cut energy use by 99.9%. So Mr. Altenberg, could Bitcoin um, change its code to save substantial amounts of energy? Well, Ethereum certainly did that um, switch from proof of proof of work to proof of, proof of stake. Whether or not Bitcoin itself um, can arrange to do that, uh, that would remain to be seen. But it's certainly possible. It is possible. So if it is possible, and it's more energy efficient, and it gets the same result, they could move in that direction uh, and still achieve their economic goals. So this isn't an issue that is built into blockchains. It's an issue that has been built into Bitcoin, which is a difference. Right? It all depends upon uh, how that company industry approaches this issue of energy efficiency. All power plants are held to the same emissions standards. All trucks are held to the same emissions standards. But crypto assets don't have those across the board standards. Some like Bitcoin get away with damage that the others would never dream of. Uh, and so that has to be um, uh, the goal because we know that Bitcoin mining will also increase if they have more energy efficiency standards, which they use. Um, so is, in your opinion, a higher Bitcoin price means more incentive for Bitcoin miners to use more energy. Do you, and you do agree with that? Mr. Yeah, we, we, we've seen that in practice. Yeah, you've seen that in practice. So we just have to recognize that and then take the analogous situation with refrigerators, stoves, air conditioning, automobiles, okay? And just say that we're not looking to end refrigeration or automotive technology. We're just saying that we should be more efficient. We should be more aware of the emissions into our atmosphere that are avoidable. So on the one hand, this is a very innovative sector, economically. Uh, and, uh, and they tout themselves as innovators. But all we're asking for them to do is look across the board at innovation. Not just that one idea, but embracing innovation 
in energy efficiency, innovation in the technologies which they use in order to generate their innovation. Uh, and, uh, and that's why this hearing is so important, so that uh, we, can, we can have a kind of a meeting of the, of the minds over mining, right? So that we benefit from all of the kind of the lessons we've learned over the last 30 years uh, that people thought were absolutely impossible to uh, implement. So, um, so I thank you all again for the uh, information. And let me turn again to Senator Ricketts.